Hello guys, welcome to the new video of Excel tutorial. Today we are going to discuss how to create this kind of dashboard for the master production schedule. This is fully automated uh, dashboard in which you can play around with the on-hand inventory, safety stock, lead times and other things and it will adjust itself. We are going to discuss that what are the inputs required in order to create uh, this kind of uh, sheet. So these are the input like product master, in demand forecast, your inventory and then and we will be discussing how we can calculate the entities of MPS like scheduled receipt, gross requirement, on hand inventory, the net requirements, planned orders and the order release. So let's start with the input. So the first and foremost input is the product master. So this sheet is stored static master data which is required for MPS planning. So every column helps the system understand how each item behave in the production. So the first one is the item code. We know it's a unique product or item identifier followed by the item name, which is a description. Then there is a lot size, which is important when you are going to release your planned orders. This data need to be in consideration. Then there is a lead time, which is a production lead time. How much time it takes for this item? To get produced then what is the safety stock so whenever you are short of your inventory then you not only need to produce your demand but you also build up your safety stock moving to the next input which is demand forecast this sheet is stored the weekly customer demand forecast for each of the finished code for this demo purpose we only have 12 weeks of data but you can have multiple weeks generally mps is a tactical kind of uh, strategy where you generally freeze your production plan max of three months but it depends on multiple industries how they want to perform so here first column is week which is time bucket week one week two week three and then you have two other column for different different forecast of different different item moving on to the next input which is the inventory input so this sheet is store beginning inventory and expected incoming receipt so the first column is the finished good item number which is fc001 and 2 in our case then the second one is on hand stock at the start of the planning horizon so whenever you are going to start how much inventory you will be starting with if you are doing from the current week then whatever inventory you have at your hand will be considered for the MPS calculation. Then there is something called scheduled receipt. If you are in a setup of contract manufacturing, so you can fulfill your demand with some other source as well, then you can consider this scheduled receipt. But here you need to provide this as an input that at which week you are going to receive that scheduled receipt so that MPS should take that into account and do not suggest number by ignoring this inventory then there is a receipt quantity so receipt quantity is something whenever you are receiving your schedule receipt then what's the quantity you are going to receive so this particular sheet supplies the mps calculation sheet with starting stock and incoming supply so let's move to the main sheet which is mps calculation so here is the mps calculation sheet where we are calculating each and every component i'm going to discuss that what these component means what is their definition and the formula? So here it is. This is the main engine of your MPS system where all automated calculation take place. So you know week is the planning time period which is coming from the earlier sheets. Then you have your item code and the focus and the beginning on hand inventory which is coming from the earlier sheets. For the beginning inventory, we have one caveat. For the week one or the starting week, the inventory will be equal to the on hand inventory. But for the later weeks, it will be equal to the projected on hand of previous week. So projected on hand means ending on hand. So ending on hand of the previous week is equal to the beginning on hand of the next week. Then there is scheduled receipt, which means any receipt expected in that week. We know it is also coming from the data input sheet. Then this is the gross requirement. So the gross requirement is total demand in that week, which can be forecast or order here in this case we are not discussing order but if you have any order you can add it to that then projected on hand it is expected inventory at the end of the week which is beginning inventory plus receipt minus gross requirement which we just discussed then the net requirement it is the additional unit needed when project on hand goes below zero so sometimes what happened that uh, you have been stocked out and then you not only need to build against your demand, but you also need to build your safety stock. So that is your net requirement. I will be discussing it in further sheet where you hit zero as your inventory, but you also need to build 150 unit of your safety stock. So the MPS will not only suggest the demand but it will also suggest the safety stock so the net requirement will be the demand should be produced in that week plus safety stock of that week next is plan order receipt which is quantity plan to be received in that week to satisfy the net requirements so how it is different from net requirement 
So net requirement is an absolute number, but the plan order received will take lot size into account in order to suggest that how much quantity of order you need to raise. Then there's a plan order release. What is a plan order release? It's a plan order which is lead time offset. It means the order receipt which you require for that item might be at week one, but it take one week to produce that item. So we need to release the order one week before so that production team will be able to produce it. So what is the purpose of the sheet? This sheet produce master production schedule for all finished goods, which means when to order, how much to order, what week order must be realized and how much inventory involved week by week. So let's go to the actual calculation. So here we have this sheet for the FG1 and this is the focus which is coming from the demand forecast sheet. Then you have this beginning inventory. We are taking it from the inventory input. Then this is the schedule receipt. We are again taking it from the schedule receipt uh, sheet. Now it is the gross requirement. So the gross requirement is equal to the forecast. But if you are considering orders, you can add the orders here as well. Now comes to the projected on hand. We know that it is just uh, addition of your schedule receipt and the beginning on end inventory and you just uh, subtract it from the gross requirement and then you check that whether your inventory is going below zero or uh, below the safety stock okay so here it is more than zero and the safety stock we know for this particular item is uh, 150 so it is well above that so that is why it is saying that there is no requirement of any order to be done okay so then there is no plan order receipt so nothing should be produced in this particular week but you need to raise some order by this week. Why? So let me just tell you, if you see in the product master, you have a lead time of two weeks. So what does it mean? It means anything for this item need to be produced after two weeks, the order should be raised before two weeks, which means if I'm at week one, then on the week one, I should release the production order for week three because there is a two weeks of lead time. If I remove that lead time to one week okay then what will happen this one week means that now whatever is being produced for this particular item the order should get released one week ago so earlier we were seeing the 500 was there because the lead time was two week now i have reduced the lead time from two to one week so now it is saying that in the week two i need 300 units but in order to get that 300 units i need to raise order in the week one so that 300 can be produced in the week two so this is how you can play around with the sheet. So what is the net output of the sheet? The net output of the sheet is your, what is the production plan? What is your net requirements? And what is going to be your on an inventory situation? So this is a vertical kind of setup for this calculation. Many people like horizontal setup for this. So that is why I have created this dashboard, which is horizontal and uh, a bit uh, conditional formatted so that it look good. So you can use either the horizontal one or the vertical one. I will attach this sheet uh, in the description. You can get this sheet at a very minimal price. I hope you like this video. If you want me to cover any of the topic from the supply chain management, let me know. I will try to create an Excel around it. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe and follow us. Thank you.